Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another Theme Park Obsession video. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. Today, as you can see, I am in a totally different space. I'm actually in Michigan and that's because I decided to hop in the car Finally, after uh, a long time of thinking about this and wanting to do it for years, we hopped in the car and drove all the way here to Michigan. It's where my best friend lives. So this is our first uh, major stop before we continue our journey to a few theme parks. Now I've driven across the country before with my dad when he moved into Florida. I've done that before, but I've never done it uh, solo. I really wasn't solo. I was with Michael and Michael and I got in the car really early in the morning. About 5.30 in the morning, we got in the car and just booked it all the way to Michigan with stops along the way. Uh, and it was nice to get out and look around and see the sights and hear the sounds of the country. So it was it was cool to uh, definitely do that, especially because I'd never driven uh, a little further up north. When we did the road trip with my dad, uh, we were going uh, further south, like near Mexico, through Texas, and uh, then through Louisiana and all that. So I think on the way back, we're gonna drive that way. But yeah, I, this was what I was talking about earlier on in the year where I said, I've been wanting to do something that I've been uh, that's been on my list of things to do for a very, very long time. And over the course of a few months, I've had to alter this because I originally was going to do it uh, with a couple other people, but things have changed and we had to alter. And uh, yeah, there's a there was a lot of little hiccups. Now I want to do that trip, uh, the original trip that I had planned of uh, sometime soon, uh, maybe sometime later this year or maybe sometime next year. Uh, that That's definitely in the pipeline, but Earlier on in the year when I was like, oh yeah, I want to do something that I've been wanting to do forever. And this is it. It's the road trip across the country to go to a few theme parks. And, and this excursion, we're definitely going to hit up a few parks that I've been wanting to go to for a very long time. Now, I'm not going to reveal all the parks. Uh, I'm actually going to keep all of them a secret. So when the video gets posted, you'll then find out where we're at. But I, I'm really excited. Again, these are parks that I've been wanting to go to for uh, quite some time. And that's always been the goal of this channel when I created it. It wasn't always just to cover the parks at home like Disneyland and Universal Knots, Six Flags, SeaWorld, all that stuff. It was to travel and go everywhere. I, I want to travel the world. I want to travel the country. I want to see new parks and experience new things. So this is really exciting. And this is a really big moment. And it's something that I've been looking forward to for you know, know, since I've started the channel. So yeah, that's always the goal. Theme Park Obsession is about uh, seeing more than just the local parks at home. And I, I love covering those parks. Don't get me wrong. I love going to Disneyland. I love going to Six Flags, Universal, Knott's Berry Farm and SeaWorld. And I also love visiting Florida. I visit Florida very often as well, but I also love visiting parks that I've never been to before. We went to Silver Dollar City uh, not too long ago. That was really fun. And I drove up north with my buddy Carter to visit uh, California's Great America and Six Flags Discovery Kingdom in California. So it was really fun. So yeah, now we're pretty much on this end of the country and we're gonna be doing some more exploring, which is gonna be just so much fun. I, again, I've just, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> I'm, I'm so ready for this. And I'm really excited to show all of you uh, some of these parks for the first time as well. Some of you have probably never been to some of these theme parks and you and I will be exploring together and that's what makes this so fun. But in today's video, I just wanted to show you a few clips that we got along the way on the road here to Michigan. Uh, I got, I tried to get a few things, got a couple uh, cool time lapses. So it's gonna be like a little bit of a montage of our drive. And then we made a couple pit stops, like I was saying. So yeah, that's what today's video is. And just to give you guys a little update on what's gonna be going on this month, cause it's gonna be happening for a big chunk of June and then I'll be heading back to California. And then we'll, yeah, we'll pick it up where we left off. Cause I still haven't seen Fantasmic. Uh, I still wanna experience more of the summer nights at Knott's Berry Farm. I know Universal Studios is they're doing a bunch of cool stuff. They're now staying open a little bit later, which is nice for the summer. And of course, SeaWorld, I wanna go back to SeaWorld. So yeah, there's, oh, there's a lot going on. Oh, and then Wonder Woman at Six Flags Magic Mountain is gonna be opening up this summer. So yeah, we're not gonna be out here forever but we're gonna be out here for quite some time. We're gonna be away from California for quite some time, which honestly, if I'm just speaking, you know, one-on-one -on -one with you guys, like I, I'm actually kind of glad that I'm not in California right now. I'm glad that I'm seeing new things because that's what it's all about. And we only have one life to live and it's nice to see new things within our life. And uh, you know, I, like I said, I love covering the parks that I do all the time, but it's nice to see new things. And um, I'm glad I'm actually not covering Fantasmic right now. I'm glad I'm not covering um, all the new stuff. I, I, I'm glad that we're doing something a little different because everyone's doing that. So 
this is this is nice but enough of that let's cut to the montage let's cut to the clips that we recorded from uh, California to here and yeah I'm gonna show you guys a couple of the pit stops that we made all righty Michael and I are in the car officially on our way to our <laughs> first destination oh wow people are driving a lot faster than me mm -hmm. and uh, pretty early. Well, it's not that early. It's 5.37. Yeah, it's 5.37. We were originally going to leave at like 4, but I was like, eh, we need an extra hour to yeah. sleep <laughs> because we didn't get to bed till like 11 something at night. But as you can see, it's a pretty nice morning and yeah, it's, I'm not going to say where we're going. You um, guys are just going to see. Yeah, as far as like our destinations, plural as more than one. But uh, that's what makes this video fun because you just never know where we're gonna be. And I like I like the element of surprise. So we show up at Disneyland. Yeah, <laughs> we're just going to Disneyland because we're, we're rope dropping Disneyland. Yeah. All right, as you can see, we're in the middle of you know a bustling city. Now we're in the middle of nowhere. But this is the roller coaster road because of all the little hills. If you can notice on the road right here, and it makes your stomach like. Get a little, get a little yeah, butterflies. butterflies. <laughs> so it's almost like we're getting floater airtime for my coaster fans out there on this road. I'm sure if I gunned it uh, over some of these hills, that we'd, would be bad. <laughs> we'd, yeah, we'd probably star ski and hutch it, but uh, <laughs> we don't want to do that. Yeah, so far so good. As you can see, the sun is continuing to rise. It's only 63 degrees outside, which is uh, not too shabby. Almost to the other freeway. It's a very windy day here at State Line. We've made it to State Line. So we're gonna go into this uh, casino right here. Don't worry, we're not gonna gamble. We just need to use the restroom. But uh, I haven't been I I here haven't been in, in well, I haven't been in this area in years and I've never been inside this particular uh, casino. I do uh, miss that coaster though, the Desperado roller coaster. Did you ever go on that? Yeah, I went on it. Uh... I went on it a couple times. I can't remember how many times. Yeah, I've been on it. Yeah, that ride was absolutely gnarly. gnarly and there have been rumors saying that they're going to open it back up. Alrighty, we've used the restroom. We're going to kind of stroll around for a bit. Then we'll head back to the car and hit the road. Alright, we've made it across the street. Now, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to go up to the front or anything like that because, again, I don't know. This, this property has been abandoned, or at least it's been sitting here for years and this coaster, I mean, it's, it's an awesome coaster. It, it really is massive. The first drop on this thing is like over 200 feet. It's intense. It's like I said, not the smoothest ride, but it's a very intense ride. Very similar to, I think the, yeah, Arrow, I believe made this one. So the same people that built Steel Eel out at SeaWorld San Antonio, same people that built uh, Magnum XL 200. Cedar Point. So this is a good credit. So hopefully they'll uh, get it back open. The monorail that takes you to the other hotel, because there's there's three hotels here. There's Buffalo Bills, there's uh, Terribles, and then there's uh, the, the one that we just went in. I don't remember what that one was called. But uh, yeah, no, Buffalo Bills has been sitting here just abandoned for years and years and years. I've stayed here once or twice in the past and uh, Back then it was like hustling and bustling, but I think now because Vegas is only like 40 minutes away from here that people are like, you know what, screw it, let's just keep driving into Vegas. And there's a lot of good deals in Vegas, so I can see why hotels like this here at State Line just didn't do so well. Uh, but yeah, like I, you know, like I was saying, who knows what's gonna happen to this coaster. They haven't done anything to it. They haven't been taking it down. It's been sitting here ever since. And it's just so iconic. I mean, it is one of the longest roller coasters in the country. This thing is, this thing is a beast. It's very fast, it's tall, and it's like, yeah, it's over 200 feet, I think it was like 250, 250 feet or something crazy like that. First, I remember the first drop very vividly. It was very fast, and they had this tunnel at the bottom of the hill. You can't see it because the hotel's in the way, but, you literally thought you're, you were gonna die. <laughs> it was, 
it was that intense. And then you go up this hill and then do like this big helix near the ground over there because there's like a parking lot. There's a surface lot on the other side. And then they also had a couple other rides over in this area, like on the other side of this big like sign. They had a drop tower. Yeah, they had a drop tower. Like drop tower. No, the drop tower is gone. gone. I know that. Okay. Yeah, I know that. But I think the log ride, the log flume, uh, tr like track is still there, and then the coaster. But cool stop though. Yeah, I was like, you know, we got to stop by Buffalo Bills and check out the coaster because uh, it's definitely bringing back memories. Go ahead and comment down below. Did you, did you guys go on this one? Now we were gonna get in here to Starbucks and grab a drink, but we noticed that the pricing on the drinks was like ten dollars. Yeah, that's a hard no. Yeah, I wanted to grab a coffee for the road and get like a little snack or something. At Starbucks for two snacks and two coffees, it would have been $40. So we went to McDonald's and got a $2 iced coffee instead. called the seven magic mountains if i'm correct yeah so there's like seven stacks of rocks they're massive they're really really big and we've been there once and it's pretty cool but yeah you have to get off at that exit where that abandoned casino is that's the right exit right yeah i think you have to get off like around there and take like a back road kind of ish not a back road but yeah just like a side road and then that'll take you to those rocks but it's pretty cool like great photo spot before you head into vegas Mountain range. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. This is awesome looking. Yeah, like we're like 10 to 15 minutes away from the Utah Nevada border. But wow, that's pretty cool. First time going through this. No roller coasters over here. Got out of the car to stretch our legs. We'll jump back in and continue our journey. Yeah, we're just gonna see how far we get because we do have a destination, but uh, Mike and I are crazy. We just wanna see how far yeah, we can drive. See. Yeah, Yeah, and if far. we have to stop and stay the night somewhere, then so be it. But uh, yeah, no, so far so good. We had a couple little hiccups there because of uh, some road work. And there was like an accident. Yeah, there's road work, road work and then like one random accident crazy accident so that held us up a little bit but I think we're making pretty good time I mean the fact that we've made it to Utah by noon like you know, yeah we've been we've been kind of taking our time too we've been enjoying uh, you know each one of our pit stops uh, we've made it to our next stop this is Beaver Utah is that where we're at? I think that's where we're at yeah I thought there was two chevrons I was like wow there's a uh, one literally right next to each other but no it's just one big giant chevron but uh yeah you can see the weather starting to change and so has the landscape. 
Oh, look, you can see off the distance, the bee for Beaver, Utah. Yeah, we're almost into Colorado, not too far. Yeah, this is a nice little pit stop to grab a snack or whatever. They have a Mexican place over there too. But yeah, the scenery has been changing. It was like, of course, like really rocky, no greenery at all. And then all of a sudden it changed and now there's a bunch of greenery. I haven't spent any greenery just yet. Yeah. You know what they should have had here instead of a Chevron was a Bucky's because it's Beaver, Utah. That would that would be cool. I will maybe on the way back we'll have to stop at a Bucky's because I think we're gonna take a different route on the way home. So yeah, for sure we'll have to hit up a Bucky's. It is day two. We're gonna continue the journey. We've made it to Nebraska. We've stumbled upon this little lake here. Really pretty setting. And it's incredibly quiet too. There's not too many people around. There is a, like a hotel and a couple gas stations and a couple fast food places, but that's about it. I wonder if there, uh, there's creatures in here. I wonder if the creature from the Black Lagoon lives in here. Yeah, the road trip continues to go really well. We're making Pretty good time considering uh you know we're stopping and enjoying it colorado the mountains in colorado weren't those oh yeah i say that yeah. so far has been my favorite view yeah that was really gorgeous the snow-capped mountains and like we were driving right through the middle yeah, of yeah, that in the middle of it uh, that, that was beautiful and then it's funny just how quick the, the scenery changes so uh yeah i'm curious to see what the next states are going to look like as we go into i think the next one is iowa i think that's the next uh, state we'll be going through after nebraska so, having fun though. All right, we've made it into the world's largest truck stop. This looks like a massive grocery store. It's huge. I have like a gift shop over here. You know, this reminds me, it reminds me of a Bucky's. Look, they have a Dairy Queen, Pizza Hut, Taco Bell, Wendy's over there. They have an arcade in the back. Dang. If, okay, if this place had a roller coaster, we would ride it, but I don't think they have a roller coaster. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is cool. This old school Ford truck. It is nice and clean. Could you imagine driving across country in one of these bad boys? Yeah, that would probably take a while. And I got an old gas pump over there too. This is nice. Oh wow, it keeps going. This is like a whole separate room. My goodness, look how huge this is. Got a giant semi truck in here. It's got a really beautiful mural on it. Oh look, there's back home. Well, far, far further up north from where I'm at, but California all the way across to New York City. Well, they don't have a Giga Coaster here, but they do have Giga Beef Jerky, making our way back to the car. And they have some fun facts on the board here as you walk out. The Interstate 80 is the second longest interstate in the United States, 2,900 miles. Oh yeah.
that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed all of those clips and little uh, pit stops along the way from California. I can't wait to do this again in the future. And uh, you know, this is not even over yet. We're, we're only halfway through this uh, entire trip. We still have to drive all the way back to California, but along the way, we're gonna be making some exciting stops. Yeah, even the birds are agreeing, they're excited too. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I know it's a little different from my usual content, but uh, sometimes it's cool to just keep you guys updated on what's going on. But if you did like it, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, get ready uh, because I have a bunch of theme park content coming soon. And if you're not already subscribed, you should consider doing that because it definitely helps out the channel tremendously. Always a huge shout out to my Patreon members. You guys are amazing. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'll leave that link down below in the description as well. I post updates there all the time that I don't normally post here on the channel. So yeah, stay tuned for all the incoming content. There's gonna be a bunch of videos. I cannot wait to show you guys. I cannot wait to experience all these places. And then yeah, we'll head back to California to continue our fun in SoCal. But for, for right now, for the time being, we're gonna have some fun elsewhere. But until the next video, I hope you have a beautiful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. And I'll see you next time in the park. Bye.